I'm Katie Hildenbrand with Oregon Sea Grant Extension and today we're buying a whole tuna directly from a commercial fisherman here at Port Dock 7 in Newport. As you come to Newport you're going to see lots of signs during the albacore tuna season. Albacore tuna season runs about June through October. There's no set season. It's just when the tuna show up off of our coastline. You'll see various types of signs like this one um, all over the coast advertising um, that there is tuna available. First of all you'll usually see uh, FV and then a name. This means fishing vessel and the vessel name is after that. You'll also typically see a port dock or PD and then a number. This refers to where uh, in the port infrastructure the vessel is actually located. So port dock 7 is where we're standing right here. And Newport there's also port dock 5 and port dock 3. There's generally at least two or three commercial port docks in each port where people might be selling albacore tuna or other products. So as you buy a tuna, you have to buy a whole tuna. You cannot just come down and buy one loin or one fillet. You have to buy the whole fish. You can buy it whole or filleted down as long as you buy the whole thing. Um, they are sold by pound on a per pound basis, so make sure you ask the price that it's currently being sold for. Uh, right now it's around $2.75 a pound, uh, but that can vary from year to year just depending on the markets. Um, and also, you don't have to buy the first fish they show you. If they show you a 40 pound fish and that's more than, than you want, um, ask them to show you a smaller one. They usually do have scales right on the vessel, so if you know about how much you want to spend or how big of a fish that you need, you can ask them to show you a fish about the size of 20 pounds or 30, depending on what you want. So as you come down to the uh, vessel and actually uh, buy your tuna, first of all, you need to ask when the trip for the tuna actually started. Uh, don't just ask when it was caught, ask when the trip started, because if you buy tuna, uh, you have no way of knowing if that fish was maybe caught the first day or the last day of the trip. So ask when the trip started and then you can count backwards from today's date. Another question you want to ask is how they actually cool the fish down once they are caught. Tuna are actually very warm fish, very hot and the quality decreases as the fish sits on the deck somewhere and slowly cools down. You actually want them to cool down very quickly. So ask them how they cool down and take care of their fish. Um, the quicker they cool down the fish and bring them down to an ice temperature, the better the quality of the fish is gonna be. Wait a minute. Hey, I'll get you one out now. Okay. <laughs> there we go. How about this one? Does this one work for you? Uh, how much does that one weigh? Uh, this one's 18 pounds. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And when did your trip start? Uh, trip started on Monday. Okay. And today is Thursday. Today's so, Thursday, yeah. This particular fish was caught on Wednesday. On Wednesday, so fresh. So very fresh, yeah. Okay. These fish have uh, they've never been frozen, just ice. Never frozen. Okay, and how do you cool them down once you catch them? Uh, well, you first, you, well, first when you land them, you you cut them right here, and this this is what bleeds them. You cut mm -hmm. these two veins right below their heart, and then so you, that's what's called ble bleeding them out. And then when you put them on the deck, right away you have to uh, you stick them in the head with the gas, right in the brain, right there, to kill them instantly, so they don't suffer and, mm -hmm. and uh, flop all over and spread blood everywhere. You want to kill them right away. And then you leave them on the deck about 15 minutes to bleed out, and then you put them in a, a, a salt water and ice solution, kind of a brine. And you leave them there for probably about 20 minutes or half hour. And that gets a little of their body heat out. And then that way, then when you put them in, the, in your fish hole, ice them, they don't melt all the ice right away too. So it's pretty important to cool them down first before you put them in the ice. Too, so. Great, okay, can we get that one filleted too? Sure, yeah, we'll have uh, Cora here fillet it for you. You buy the fish from one person and then a separate vendor will actually fillet it for you. You can take the fish home whole and fillet it yourself. However, professionals like Cora do a much better job of getting more meat out of the fish uh, than an amateur. So it's probably a better idea to actually have a professional vendor fillet it for you. Things you're going to need when you come down to the docks to buy your fish are, first of all, some place to put it, like an iced cooler. They will not have ice available for you, so make sure you bring a cooler with ice or some other means of keeping it cool. And also, you're going to need cash. Uh, they do not take credit cards, sometimes local checks, but generally you're going to need cash. 